file structures, directories, how they look on our computers. So I'm going to start up a program called Windirstat, which I use to check out how much space stuff takes up on my computer. We're going to analyze my C drive. So it's going gonna, it's gonna to work. And we're going to just click stuff up to see what's in there. Now, this is what I mean by uh, things being in a tree like structure. As you can see, you can open these things up and take a look at what's in them. There we go. And eventually you will come down to uh, files. And this is essentially how file systems work. We are in a tree-like structure. We are always in some type of folder, in some type of location, and we navigate around it. It's just that using a visual uh, GUI like this is just so much simpler than having to type in where you need to go and think about that. It's more intuitive. But as programmers, we need to learn how to work with these file structures because we will be there are things you can do in the terminal that you just can't do using the um, visual GUI. And that's why we need to learn it. So here you can see a lot of, of different folders, what they look like, and you can... This is a visual representation of my computer. Isn't it beautiful? Yeah, not scary at all. Um, you can just endlessly go down into stuff. So that's how that looks like. And I also wanted to show you a bit about how to look at files, properties and metadata. So if we take a look at, you go onto a file and right click and you can look at properties and you will get the properties. Now here we see what type of file it is, how you can open it, you can change how to open this specific one, where it is, the location, how big it is, etc. when it was created, um, and so on and so forth. And this metadata exists for every single file in your computer. I believe that is it for now. Um, just a quick look at how files, file structures, and uh, the hierarch hierarchical tree structure looks like.